This is the Claw Petite Mariculture Center in our new fish hatchery here. Uh, it's a 23,000 square foot hatchery where we're raising currently red drum and pompano. We have two pipelines here. One pipeline runs to the Gulf State Park Pier and brings in high salinity salt water. And then we have a pipeline that runs to the intercoastal waterway to bring in lower salinity salt water. And we can use those and mix those and do different things in order for us to raise fish of all different types here at the hatchery. In our hatchery here, we're really set up to do all the life stages of the fish. We have the brood stock tanks where we keep the, the brood stock fish, the mom and daddy fish, uh, where we get the eggs from those. And then we raise those up to a certain level and then we move those into some of our bigger tanks. And then when they get to a certain size, we move them out to our ponds. Uh, we have 35 ponds here on the Claude Petit Maricultural Center where we can raise the fish in the ponds. And then from there, we'll move them to the open waters for the restocking. Here at Claude Petit, we, uh, we grow algae, which is uh, fed to the rotifers, which is grown as a food for uh, the first feeding of our larval fish. Um, once the yolk sac is absorbed, from uh, newly hatched uh, fish. They need a, a live prey, and due to the size of their mouth, their gape, uh, the rotifers fit that bill, and we grow those internally uh, to provide us a first feed. And then once uh, they uh, hit about eight days post-hatch, we'll begin weaning them from the rotifers and beginning introducing artemia, which we also hatch out uh, here at the lab. The Claude Petit Mariculture Center really is famous because it's the first place in the world where red snapper were raised in a hatchery. Uh, back in the 90s, we were able to, to get them from eggs through their life stage uh, to the point where they could be raised here and then released in the wild. Our old hatchery became unusable after 30 or more years in service with the salt water and so we're happy to construct this new hatchery to continue the work and really expand what we were able to do in the past. One way that we were able to, to make this hatchery successful is in, in our broodstock tanks, we can lower and raise the temperature and lower and raise the lights to make the fish think that it's a different season. So we can get the fish to spawn two times or more a year, uh, which really doubles our capacity. And then having the larger tanks inside allow us to overwinter fish here in the hatchery. So we're able to operate year round and really produce a lot of fish here. When we're at full production, you know, we hope to be raising millions of red drum and pompano and then expand to flounder and some other species and really make a big difference and a big impact in the fisheries in Alabama. In our hatchery here, we also do cooperative research with Auburn University and others. Uh, we're doing some work now with shrimp with Auburn University and with pompano where they're doing some feeding studies, uh, you know, feeding the uh, broodstock and the, the small uh, pompano different feeds to see what's m most productive and help grow the fish at a faster rate which can be used in aquaculture uh, facilities if somebody wants to take the research that's done here and open up some commercial facility to raise pompano for sale or red drum for sale, they'll be able to use the information that, that we do in our research here to make that more successful and to create jobs for people in Alabama. The goal of the Mariculture Center is to raise enough fingerlings or small fish to put back into the ecosystem to make a difference. But we also, you know, it's a dual purpose to do research here to really help with our management of those fisheries and to, to uh, help with aquaculture, which is a, a growing burgeoning industry in the Gulf and in the world. Versatility is really big here. We, we have a lot of options of what we want to do and how we want to do it. So uh, we're very fortunate in that regard.